to the Redskin. Go Redskin! What's good, people? You know, I wanted to come on a little bit tonight and talk a bit about the state of the Washington Redskins, uh, kind of post-Alex Smith injury, so to speak. Um, the team, I believe, offensively, was really on the cusp of breaking through with Alex as the quarterback. But I also, at the same time, believe that we were witnessing the worst game in Alex Smith's Redskins career yesterday uh, afternoon. Now, I'll be also completely honest when I say that I was all set and ready to come on here and go off about how the Washington Redskins need to do something with their offense and do it now because um, I felt like the offense is going nowhere. I know that we're eating up with the injury bug. We've got a patchwork you know, offensive line at this point, which I believe We'll get better this week when we get Trent Williams back, but that's a whole nother video uh, talking about this week's game against the Cowboys. But this, this video right here, I wanna talk a little bit more about where we stand right now as a team um, moving forward, so to speak. You know, a lot of people immediately see the name Colt McCoy and think that it's some joke that they're hearing or you know, all oh, this guy can't play. But when it comes, to, it really comes to, to, to the end of the day, you're kind of playing yourself on this one because Colt McCoy actually fits the offense better than Alex Smith did. It was kind of like before with Alex Smith, you're trying to like teach an old dog new tricks and he may do it his way and the receivers and him are not on the same page yet. Seemed like he didn't really have confidence in a couple of the receivers and it led to him not taking chances. Obviously, Alex Smith is a step above Colt McCoy when it comes to arm strength, but I also believe that Colt McCoy is a, he's a gamer. This guy's going to go out there and try to win every game for you. The problem with him has always been, he, can he stay healthy for a full season? That's why he hasn't been given the starter role with us. But you could also go as far as to say he actually clicks more in Gruden's system than Kirk Cousins did or anybody has for the Washington Redskins for that matter. You know, the last game that he started was a game we went down to Dallas and won. Nobody nobody thought we would. We were injured and beat up, and we didn't have any playoff implications on that game like this game coming up will. But the point is, Colt, and that was Colt's first year in the system. He's been in it four years now. Honestly, there's no quarterback that we could have signed that would have been better than Colt is going to be for us at this point. And being the fact that we cut, I believe his name was Kevin Hogan earlier in the year, we don't have a third quarterback on the scout team. So that wasn't an option. You know, I saw the list of quarterbacks that they were had to pick from. And I mean, I, I'm, I'm completely appalled that they picked Mark Sanchez, but they also have history with each one of the offensive coaches and him. So it's an understanding of why they would choose him of being a veteran. And that has nothing to do with him being able to guide us anywhere. Because let's just be completely honest here, folks. If Mark Sanchez ever sees the football field, the, the Washington Redskins season's over. I mean, I'm quick to admit to anybody when reality sets in. You know, Colt McCoy is very capable, though. In 2014, he had the job won until he got hurt. I believe he hurt his neck. And when he got hurt, that's when Kirk Cousins came back in and did well. Now, all has changed now, and here we are back again, where we were, you know, basically where we started with Cole. And we're going to see what he can do with this football team. Now, as far as Alex goes, I, I'm really not certain where that's going to go. I know we're guaranteed two more years, two or two years with him, I believe. 2020, we're guaranteed until that year, which I believe is the year they're going to lock out anyway. But 
you know, Alex has a, a long rehab process ahead of him at 34 years old. I'm not certain that he's going to be back to play football at this point. I would like to say that he'd be that he would give it a try, but I mean, I'm I'm reading some pretty gruesome details about that about that injury and uh, compound fracture and I don't know, man. Just it doesn't sound good. Um, but the Redskins need to start thinking about moving forward with maybe drafting a quarterback uh, in this upcoming draft. We got, I believe, ten picks. We might it might be nine now, but we're going to get a compensatory pick if. Um, if, if Clinton Dix were to walk, we'd get a compensatory pick. So it might be nine picks now because of the Clinton Dix trade. But we have a bunch of picks coming up in this next draft, which gives us the option to be able to perhaps maybe maneuver on the draft board, maybe move up and around if there's a guy still sitting there. Something that we now have the options of doing. I think it was something we, we were thinking of, you know, the front office was thinking about before. But now here they are, you know, with a quarterback that's, 34 years old and we don't know what's going to happen with it now as far as the, the money goes on the contract everybody probably shouldn't start freaking out they have some options there and they probably could, could back you know they already got it. it's a front-loaded contract a lot of it was left over from the cheap deal it gets smaller as it goes and the guarantee pretty much cuts off after next year with they but they could stretch it out if he were to not be able to return to football to where he'd get a certain amount each year and it could be kind of worked in and maybe even an injury uh, settlement could come but at this point, you know, we have to think about Alex for next year. And Colt is, is the quarterback now. And he can do things that we haven't been able to do thus far this year. I believe we're getting ready to see the offense really break out. And, you know, people are kind of snickering at McCoy. And it's, it's, it's just, it makes me laugh because I remember the last time this happened and Cowboy fans had to eat their that crow really really tough because you know they they hate it that Colt McCoy is the, is the you know real life Texas Longhorn quarterback and you know he's the thorn in their side he, he just Colt McCoy owns Texas and they know it and they actually love him but they hate him now Adrian Peterson is now at the, at the he's completely healed again we're getting Trent Williams back this week I don't know if he'll have a club on that on that arm or not but I'm pretty certain he'll be playing. He wanted to play last weekend. I think they shut him down on the last minute just to think, you know, let's just get ready for Thursday. Um, I hear whisperings that maybe Chris Thompson and Jameson Crowder will be back. You know, Thompson, hopefully Thompson's going to wear some sort of protective, uh, I don't know, garment or something underneath of his, of his pads or something for those ribs. It seems like he's kind of susceptible to more rib breakage. He's just a, he's just a little guy, but he's shifty. Um... But not certain what's going to happen with those two guys. But I've heard kind of rumors around that they're going to try to push them to come back. So that'd be nice. We actually need them. The team needs them. Um, you know, it'd be nice to have Dunny back, Quentin Dunbar. It'd be nice to have Dunny back. Uh, the defense has worked okay without him, but they bend at times. It seems like we're giving up more yards rushing now than before, even though they still haven't given up a 100-yard rusher this season. He got close yesterday. Uh, what was his name? Lamar Miller. He got, a, he got like 89 yards. But, you know, I, I really wanted to take a, a moment to kind of step back and look. I haven't made a video in a, you know, since the, I made a pregame video for the Bucks, but I didn't make a postgame video. And I didn't make a video at all before the, uh, you know, the game yesterday. But I wanted to kind of come on and kind of touch base about where the team kind of stood in my eyes right now. I think our wide receivers are ready to bust out too, man. Like Josh Doxson, I know people are down on him because they were expecting huge, humongous things, but Doxson's ready to break out, man. I, I, I could see it, and it, it kind of kills me to know that we, you know, we haven't been able to get him the ball because he's not on the same page with our quarterback. Now I know he is because Colt McCoy's been here his entire career, and we're getting ready to see what Jay Gruden can cook up. Because it's no, it's no, uh, you know, it's it's no hidden thing that that uh, Colt McCoy is Jay Gruden's guy. You know, he li he likes him. Like I said a little while ago, he had he had beaten out Kirk Cousins for the starting quarterback job, but he hurt his neck. I believe it was against was it against the Vikings? I can't remember. 
But anyway, that's about all I got for now. I'm probably going to come back out tomorrow and make a video talking more about the Dallas game coming up. You know, might do a little bit of trash talk. I don't know yet. <sighs> Some of these Cowboy fans that kind of lame. You know, they, all, all of a sudden, you know, they, they win a couple games and all of a sudden they come back out of hiding or wherever the hell they were at. Now, I'm not talking about necessarily the guys here on, on the, T, you know, in the TTC or whatever on YouTube, but just in general, that's just the way Cowboy fans work. They lose a couple games, they disappear. Oh, we won. Oh, we're going to win the Super Bowl again. Oh, we're taking the East. The Redskins are going to be horrible now that... Alex Smith went down. And that's another thing, too, man. People trip me out. Though. The first thing they say is, is oh, Alex Smith is horrible, man. Y'all ain't going nowhere with Alex Smith as your quarterback. And then Alex Smith gets hurt. Man, the Redskins are done. The Redskins are horrible, man. Without Alex Smith, y'all ain't going to do nothing. Man, y'all need to stop and just press pause. Maybe even just record yourself and listen to yourself sometimes because you sound like idiots. That's just the way it looks to me, man. I call it like I see it because that's... I don't know, man. Just the way it is. But that's all I got. Hell to the Redskins. Peace.